Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can recreate a Mirrored Worlds effect, where as we play through this drone footage, it looks like the camera is going through two paralleled worlds on opposite sides of each other. So in order to pull off this effect, you're first going to need some aerial footage, or at least footage taken from a very high building, uh, so that you get a good shot of the sky and the landscape that you want to overlook on the bottom and top of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this footage and put it into the timeline. And we can find a good spot here in order for us to do this effect. So let's actually go over to the end here and I'll grab this clip from the very end of this footage. So taking that back to the beginning. Okay, so let's go ahead and play back this clip really quick and then I'll show you guys how to turn it into the effect. So it's just a nice overland shot. You can see that they have the sky up top. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is to duplicate the clip and then to flip it onto the opposite side. So I'm going to control C copy this clip. I'm going to go over here past the clip and control V to paste it in. Uh, should have popped over by the clip. I don't know why it moved so far. Uh, but in any case, we need to position it on top of the first clip. And now we're going to need to adjust the positions of these two clips. Um, basically moving the first clip down a little bit and the top one up. And then we also need to turn the top one 180 degrees, so it's basically a mirrored copy of the first one. So the first thing I'm going to need to do here is to change the positions on the bottom and the top clip, um, basically pulling the landscape away from that center. So here I'm going to decrease the Y position about, eh, I don't know, 150 pixels to start, and I'll increase the Y position up here by 150 pixels. doesn't need to be exact. And now with the top clip, I'm also going to rotate that 180 degrees. So basically flipping it across the horizontal axis. Now obviously there's a major problem here, which is that the sky of the top one is completely hiding everything in the bottom screen. So to get around that, I'm going to come down here to cropping and crop the top a little bit. And I also want to increase the softness by quite a lot. And what this will do is when we get everything positioned nicely, it'll look a lot more like the two skylines actually transition into each other. So to get started with that, we're actually going to need to increase the Y position of the top clip. And let's actually lower the Y position of the bottom clip too. And you can see just by having done that with the softness, it looks a lot more realistic. So let's play it back a little bit. Okay, so it's not bad right now, um, but what I want to do also to make it a little bit cooler is to rotate both sides just a little bit. So I'm going to take the bottom clip and I'm going to rotate it negative 15 degrees. And I'll also take the top clip and I'll subtract 15 degrees from it, giving it 165. Um, now that they're at a slant, we do run into a new problem, which is that the sides uh, show some black space. And we don't want that in a final video. So uh, one way we could get around this is to actually increase the size of the clips. So I'm going to take the zoom and I'm going to zoom it to 1.1 on both clips. So 1.1, 1.1. And we can also change the X position a little bit if that helps. So I'll increase the X position there and maybe decrease it over here until the clouds kind of seem to line up pretty well. And um, that's pretty much the effect. So let's go ahead and play it back. And there's your final result. Now just to point out, if you actually wanted the original effect, you're going to want the drone footage to be going through the landscape to give you that look of passing over the trees on both the top and the bottom. But in terms of the steps inside of DaVinci Resolve, it's really just the same. You've got to mirror the clip across the axis, and then you need to crop and blend them together, and that should be able to give you the mirrored look that we have been talking about. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, and I will see you guys in my future video content.